Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is type conversion and C program to check whether number is even or odd. And also I will explain what is an expression and what is precedence and associativity. Guys, I have uploaded complete C language subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is type conversion. Converting one data type value into another data type is known as type conversion. We also call this type conversion as type casting. There are two types of type conversion. One is implicit type conversion and next one is explicit type conversion. Now I will explain what is implicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion converts smaller data type value to larger data type. For example, if you consider integer, this integer is smaller data type. So if we convert this integer to any larger data type like float, then we call it as implicit type conversion. In implicit type conversion, converting one data type to another data type is done by system itself automatically. So definition of implicit type conversion is the type conversion which is done by system itself automatically is known as implicit type conversion. I will give one example so that you can clearly understand what is implicit type conversion. In this program, I written int a equal to 10 by 3. After that, I return printf percentage d comma a. For example, if you calculate this 10 by 3 in your calculator, actually you should get value as 3.333, so on. But here I will get output as 3 because here I took integer, so it will print only integer value. So computer automatically converted one data type into another data type. This is known as implicit type conversion. In implicit type conversion, conversion which is done by system itself automatically is known as implicit type conversion. So it automatically converted this 3.333 value into 3. Next I will explain explicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion converts smaller data type to larger data type. Whereas explicit type conversion will convert larger data type to smaller data type. And definition of explicit type conversion is type conversion which is done by user manually is called explicit type conversion. In implicit type conversion, converting one data type to another data type is done by system itself automatically. But whereas in explicit type conversion, converting one data type to another data type is not done by system automatically. So user should manually convert one data type to another data type. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is explicit type conversion. This is program here I written float a equal to 10 by 3. Value of this variable a is 10 by 3. After that I written printf for float we need to use percentage f comma a. By writing this program I will get output as 3.000. Actually value of 10 by 3 is 3.333. But here I got output as 3.000 which is wrong value. Why I got wrong output because though I given here data type as float here I took value as integer. This 10 is integer and this 3 is integer value. So I got output as 3.000. In explicit type conversion converting one data type to another data type is not done by system automatically. So here system unable to convert this integer value to float value. So I got here wrong output. For example, here in place of 10, if you give here 10.0 and in place of 3, if you give here 3.0, then you will get output as 3.333. So here system unable to convert this integer values to float value. So here I got output as 3.000, which so user should manually correct it. So here I manually changed this value of 10 to 10.0 and 3 to 3.0. This is known as explicit type conversion. Next, I will explain C program to check whether number is even or odd. Before that, you need to know what is even number and what is odd number. For example, if we divide any number by 2 and if we get remainder as 0, then we call it as even number. Else, we call it as odd number. I will give an example. For example, if you consider 4, if we divide this 4 by 2, 2 to the 4. So, we got remainder as 0. So, 4 is even number. For example, if you consider 5, 2 to the 4, I got remainder as 1. So this 5 is not even number. This 5 is odd number. I will write C program to check whether number is even number or odd number. I took here int. I given variable name as number in new m. I want to check whether 5 is even number or odd number. So I given here value of number as 5. Now I want to check whether this 5 is even number or odd number. If number is divided by 2 and if we get remainder as 0, then it is known as even number. So write here printf even number. So semicolon close bracket else printf odd number close bracket for else and next close bracket for this mean this is program to check whether number is even or odd here if we divide 5 by 2 we will get remainder as 1 not 0 so this 5 is odd number so output is odd number next i will explain what is an expression here i written b equal to c plus d we call this c plus d as expression where c and d are operands and plus is operator and this b is variable not only c plus d for example if you consider a into 
b plus c we call this abc as operands and this into and plus as operators we call this as expression a into b plus c is an expression a plus b plus c by 3 this is also an expression expression is combination of operands and operators there are various types of expressions these are the examples of arithmetic expressions like 10 into 20 10 plus 20 a plus b into c all these are examples of arithmetic expression next examples of logical expressions they are a or b a and b these both are examples of logical expression and next a not equal to b a less than or equal to b these are the examples of relational expression next i will explain what is precedence and associativity precedence mean priority which operator has high priority and which operator has low priority here first priority is for brackets and next second priority is for multiplication and division and third priority is for plus and minus this is an example here we need to give first priority for multiplication so at first we need to calculate 1 into 2 that is 2 after that we need to give priority for addition so after that 2 plus 3 is 5 this is another example here we need to give first priority for brackets so at first we need to calculate 1 plus 2 because they are present in brackets so 3 into 3 plus 1 after that next priority is for multiplications after that we need to multiply 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 1 last priority is for addition so 9 plus 1 is 10 this is my answer precedence is nothing but priority which operator has high priority and which operator has low priority based on that we need to perform calculations next i will explain what is associativity here this plus and minus both operators has same priority precedence of this plus and minus is same if two or more operators of same precedence appear in expression then at that time we need to use associativity that is from where we need to start calculation we can start calculation either from right to left or left to right this plus and minus both are arithmetic operators for arithmetic operators associativity is from left to right so we should start from left to right so at first we need to perform 1 plus 2 that is 3 after that 3 minus 3 that is 0 this is my result this is precedence and associativity table definitely you need to write this table in exam whatever the examples that i explained you need to write these examples and as well as this table in exam 